Hey, if you miss us live, you can you can listen to us wherever you get your podcast. general manager of Fred Beans, Kian Langhorn. We just wanted to take a minute to talk about Larry Felt and my career at Janus USA. Larry and I had been working together for about the last 12 years now, and anything I've ever needed as far as recruiting, training, Larry's been right there. Um, Larry's got me salespeople, he's got me managers, he's got me technicians even through the toughest times in the industry, and he is just the kind of guy who's going to tell you exactly what's on his mind, he's going to tell you exactly what he thinks. But Larry also has the expertise to back it up. When he was in the dealership world, he was a top performer. And that's really important to my staff, uh, especially as it pertains to training. A lot of people can come in and teach out of a textbook, but Larry has real-world experience dealing with customers, dealing with situations in dealerships that we go through on a daily basis and try to train on. But Larry's been through it, so he can really empathize with the people and tell you what's worked for him and maybe what way not to go. Um, Larry is just always at a 10. I mean, his energy level is always up there. And I think people, they just love that and they feed off of it. Um, he's not faking it. He, he is genuinely excited to come in and help you. He's excited to come in and help grow your business. And he's one of those people who just really enjoys seeing dealers succeed and um, have a lot of fun at the same time. Life is about connection, having a support system to lean on, and roads to endless possibility. At every turn, guiding the way, we are building the connections that move you. So what would your dealership feel like if your entire sales staff was literally on fire, your sales and service staff, they were nonstop all over social media, completely dominating your marketplace. They could do it in 30 days or less and then continue their education to do it for an entire six months or a year. You literally would completely take over the entire marketplace and no one would be able to compete with you. And that's what we can do for you. So when you're walking around your community, whether you're at local restaurants or you're going to the gym, if you don't want to be bothered, fine, you won't be bothered. But a lot of people will walk up to you and say, oh my God, I love your social media. Your staff is amazing. We love what you're doing in the community. We want to come buy a car from you. We want to get an oil change at your dealership. Your community is absolutely going to love you and it doesn't matter what platform you're on you could be on tiktok linkedin facebook instagram all social media platforms you will literally be all over the place and not only will you have ads running but your own 
staff is going to be promoting your brand and promoting themselves within the dealership and within the business. So it's like running an ad times a hundred fold because your entire staff is participating in the process. I've traveled all over North America. I've trained Toyota. I've trained Nissan. I've been to driving sales. I've been to women in auto. I get hired as a speaker for conferences at universities all over the country. And I can help change the trajectory of your dealership right now. Both Zim and this is Jeff. Here we are at NADA 2024. I can't believe it's 2024 already. And um, we are with our new, very, very good friend, Venus Oro <laughs> from Win Solutions. Um, you're not going to win the the farthest travel award because I saw somebody on here yesterday from Australia. Oh wow! But uh, actually, it's probably only about a six hour flight here. From Canada, it? It, it is. It's not not that bad at all. Not yeah, bad. not that far. So, uh, Venus, thank you so much for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, quick question: Tell us about yourself, your company, and uh, connection to here. Well, no, thank you, thank you so much for having me. This is amazing way of starting NADA. Uh, a little bit about uh, me and my company. So we are called Wind Solutions, which stands for whatever you need. So we're a staff uh, augmentation uh, talent provider. We specialize in providing OEM compliant talent for automotive agencies. So everything from uh, creatives to digital to copywriting, we find those people in Colombia. We train them specifically in automotive. Right now we are starting developing also an AI tool that allows us to train people faster so that they can hit the ground running. And we provide that at affordable prices for automotive agencies that need to grow, need to expand, and that need to expand quickly as well. So we try to do everything very fast. We have uh, kind of like a two to three week promise to provide you with the talent that you're looking for. Fantastic. Well, I have to say one thing. Anybody we bet you're ever interviewing Spanish as a native tongue does not call this not <laughs> Yeah, so what, what's the uh, biggest challenge that you face doing that for people in the automotive industry? Well, there's, uh, there are a few challenges that we've encountered and also a few challenges that we've been able to uh, overcome. Of course, a kind of entering the industry has always been uh, difficult, but we've been able to expand our network and being able for people to get to know us and get to trust the services and the people we provide. We really want to have that quality stamped, making sure that the win hires are hires that people can trust and people can rely on. And we've had a very, very good retention rate. Um, and another challenge that I think we've been able to solve is, for example, uh, the bilingual uh, aspect of things. So in many scenarios, car dealerships and agencies need to be producing uh, copy and ads on uh, all of the campaigns in Spanish, but sometimes don't find the people inside it, their own organizations that can provide that. So uh, we're able to come up with bilingual copywriters that are able to do both, that can provide copy and text in English and as well to kind of give you that uh, localized version depending on the, you know, the people that you're talking to. Um, so that I would say those are the main ones. So how quickly could a company get started uh, if they needed staff? Like what, what's the, what's like a turnaround for someone who said, Hey, we're in Florida, we're in Texas, we're in California, we're maybe even in Toronto or wherever it is. And I need, I need people that speak multiple languages. Like how quickly can you solve that? We normally provide a hire in the first two weeks. So we're able to find talent uh, really quickly. Sometimes this is, if it's more specialized or like if it's uh, a hire that we've never placed in the past, it might take a little more, but we try to stay in a, in that frame and making sure that we are able, because we understand when you're looking for a person, you need it by yesterday, if right, not. Right, right. So. Don't need it last week, right? Yeah. <laughs> is this, uh, is this uh, in person uh, and virtual person? Virtual. So as you know, after pandemic, many businesses went com completely remote. So that has not been an issue for us because most of the companies that we work with are already fully remote. Sure. So they are, and in reality, Colombia is just one hour away from most of the, of the people that we work with because we're in Eastern time. When there is the time zone difference, right. uh, we go back to central time. So we stay kind of in that uh, the bracket. So there's not a, a huge time zone difference. 
the people are bilingual, the people speak automotive, and we're making sure to train in them constantly so that they provide a good quality services. So, I mean, obviously North America and obviously South and Central America, I would assume, but are you plans to expand in other countries? Or? Right now, we have focused mostly in the U.S. I think it's been an amazing market for us. Uh, we've been able to kind of find creating that bridge between Colombia and the U.S. So, so far, that's that's our plan to keep conquering a little bit more of the American market. Well, I guess, you know what, uh, once... Uh... You only go for the uh, you only go for the bakery once you've got the pie, right? Correct. Yes. <laughs> so you're are you are you look do you focus on dealers or vendors to dealers? We focus on vendors to dealers. So we we work with automotive agencies or automotive vendors that need uh, talent, that need staff, that need marketing talent, and we provide those for them. Very interesting. What sets you apart from anybody else in the field? From your part of Oh, that's a great question. The, I think there are three things that differentiate us. Uh, the first one is that we are entirely automotive focused. There is, uh, there is no other company in Colombia or in Latin America that is able to provide the services specifically to, you know, kind of the car, the car dealer and automotive agencies. That is one. Um, the fact that we are fully integrating AI into our training is the second one. And the fact that we are constantly, you know, making sure to not stay in just the roles that we provide, but also having, you know, living up to that, whatever you need mentality and making sure that we understand our client needs deeply so that we can provide them exactly what they're looking for. Any cultural bits? Because obviously, you know, Colombian culture isn't maybe different, but right. it's not the same as American. Yes, in, in some in some scenarios, of course, we have those little cultural hiccups. However, we've encountered that they are they are not as limiting. If in fact they might be in some scenarios even uh, consider uh, a benefit, because you know a lot of the people bring kind of like that passion and, and energy to work. <laughs> So, so we've encountered, and, and we definitely, that's something that we try to find from the moment that we're searching the people, making sure that they've worked in the past with American companies, that they have, you know, they understand the mentality, they understand the culture, the very practical and results oriented culture. So, uh, besides that, I, I think that those have been kind of like the cultural differences. So I mentioned this to you earlier, but other than this, they're all here. That's what is it you're liking and you really would like to achieve by being here? Networking, networking. Definitely, I've encountered, you know, I've been in the industry now for three years and I've encountered that the most important asset that somebody can have is meeting people. You never know who can teach you something, who can give you insights about your business, who can give you a recommendation for maybe a, somebody that is going to work with you in the future. Or you never know if you're gonna hear about a, a product that you would think, okay, that might might be good for me, or that might be something that we can implement as well. So definitely getting to know more people, more amazing people like yourself. Um, I actually think an idea for me, and I don't want to come across tacky, <laughs> but you know, good thing is to get involved with a lot of these uh, women on automotive networks. Yes. W I A. Yeah, women on W I A, and it's the other. Oh, uh, the pen is is uh, it's more for women of color. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've interviewed people for both. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the the interesting thing is 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 what their definition is of color. Right. Because you know, <laughs> if you want to also go by CDK, uh, they uh, I should like from CDK is in charge of that gender diversity. I thought you were yes. talking about the American Jack um, <laughs> CBS. So, <laughs> he's a huge huge company. Of course, a sponsor of the Auto Hulk Show. And uh, by all means, and uh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. you and I have been messaging back and forth. Yes, uh, and I'm very excited because we like to meet people that are outside of the the usual. <laughs> no, we will not tell you. If we think you're usual, so. but um, to get a different viewpoint on things, and and I and I can see why somebody would want to reach out to you 
and deal with you because you provide a different viewpoint. You don't have jaded people. They're not sort of saying, no, I'm sorry, people in Florida don't fly red cars. <laughs> you no, know, you like red. <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, it's a great thing. I think it's a huge benefit. Staffing is a massive thing. I, I have one quick question, though. Absolutely. What's the process for a dealer or a vendor to get started working with you, and what's that look like? So you can uh, contact me to email or phone number or through our website, uh, whichever, even LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So you can contact me to venus at winwithus.com or to 470-253-0655. And after you do that uh, first approach, we understand, uh, you know, we, we kind of build a job description. If, if you don't have done, we built one for you. Once that is approved, we'll start looking for the candidates. We provide, uh, if you have a specific test that the candidate want to take, we provide that to them so that we send you a couple of uh, pre-qualified candidates that we feel will be a good fit with the test. And after that, you decide whether you want to interview them and then you do a second interview. And if you like one of them, then you're able to start right away. And how many dealers or how many vendors or dealers are you working with? We're working with several, uh, kind of like the major OEM certified okay. agencies, okay. and we're working as well with some uh, smaller vendors. But those are our, our target ma market. And, and what what uh, what is your game plan for NADA in terms of new connections, new clients? Like, what do you think? Well, I want to meet uh, first of all with some of our clients, our very beloved clients right now, and. I want to walk around the show and see, uh, you know, meet new people and also going to some of the events as well and getting, you know, introductions of people that may may be interested in the services as well. Great. Well, thanks for the talk. Um, I was just going to say, so, sorry. This is Venus Toro. I have to tell you, you <laughs> should be, you should be in the Hollywood world. Because <laughs> without, no one would forget the name Venus, Venus Toro from Wind Solutions. Please tell us again what Win Solutions stands for. Stands for whatever you need. <laughs> whatever you need. Yeah. Thanks very much. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you so much. Hey, if you miss us live, you can you can listen to us wherever you get your podcast.